Hi guys, my name is Ellie. I teach sewing and crafts at the library, and today I'm going to show you how to create prints out of fruit and vegetables. So for this project, you will need some acrylic paint, a paintbrush, um, a surface to print on. I would recommend using some kind of thicker paper like cardstock, watercolor paper, or I'll be using brown paper. Um, you'll need some kitchen knives, and remember to please be careful while using these and ask for an adult's help if you need it. And then you will also need some produce. So there's a bunch of different things you can use. Um, I'll be using celery, apple, a lime, and a potato. Other things that work really cool are onions, uh, the tops of broccoli, okra. Um, it's really up to you and you can do some experimenting. So you wanna start by cutting your fruits or vegetables. So for a lot of them, you can just cut them in half to get a cool pattern to print. With the celery, if you cut off the root end, um, you get kind of this rosette pattern, but you can also use just the end of one celery stalk to make kind of this curved shape. For the potato, I cut it in half and then kind of cut the sides of one to make it into a squarish rectangle shape. And then for the other half of the potato, I kind of took a pencil and just kind of trace the shape that I wanted. And then with the smaller paring knife, I really carefully just slowly carved it away. This is probably the trickiest part and the most dangerous part, so please be careful. And please don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. So now that I have my vegetables cut, I'm gonna start by just making a little test print to see how my stamps are gonna look. So you can just dip your paintbrush in the paint, just get a little bit and paint it on the part that you wanna stamp. And the good thing about doing a test print too is then you can see about how much paint you will need to get the stamp to show up. So that's the celery. This is also a really great way to use up fruits or vegetables that are about to go bad, that you wouldn't necessarily want to eat, but they're not, you know, rotting yet. Uh, see, I'll probably want a little bit more paint for this one, but I do really like this pattern that it makes. If you had fabric paint, you could also um, print these on fabric. You can make a really cute tote bag or t-shirt. And of course there are all sorts of things that you can do with um, your printed paper or fabric. I think I'm going to print some on a larger piece of brown paper to use as wrapping paper, but you can use it for stationery, scrapbooking, or just to make art prints to hang on the wall. Probably need a little more paint with that one too, but I do like the apple shape as well. I might need some work. <laughs> okay, I'm interested to try these potatoes that I made. That one came out nice. You might also want to try um, patting your fruit or vegetables dry with a 
paper towel before you start printing. Because I think the excess moisture in them may be causing some of the splotchiness in these prints. So here are some of the patterns I created with my stamps. I can't wait to replicate these on larger pieces of paper so that I can use them as gift wrap or stationery. And again, there's so many options with this project. I hope you guys enjoy experimenting and being creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.